Translation Gene expression includes two steps, transcription and translation. Transcription is the first step of gene expression in which RNA is synthesized from DNA by using RNA polymerase enzyme. This is a DNA molecule having two strands which are anti-parallel to each other and the information stored in this DNA molecule is now transcribed into single-stranded messenger RNA. This is the ribonucleotide sequence present on messenger RNA. So here the information transferred from nucleotides of DNA into ribonucleotides of RNA. This is known as transcription. Translation is the second step of gene expression that occurs in living cells in which protein is synthesized by using RNA as a template. So here the information stored in RNA is now coded into protein and protein is composed of amino acid chain. So here you can see AUG. First triplet of base is a start codon that codes for amino acid methionine. And this codon is present at the beginning of all the sequences that code for amino acid chain. Next triplet of base is ACG and this codon codes for threonine. Next is UAA. This is a stop codon. Stop codons are UAG, UGA and UAA. These stop codons do not code any amino acid and they are present at the end of the sequences that codes for amino acid chain. So this process in which ribonucleotide sequence is translated into amino acid sequence of protein is known as translation. Translation requires three equipments, transfer RNA, messenger RNA and ribosomes. This is the transfer RNA having anticodon at the end. This is anticodon which is composed of triplet of bases that is complementary to the codon of messenger RNA. And the first step is activation of amino acids. This activation of amino acid is basically binding of amino acid to the transfer RNA. So here at 3' prime end, an amino acid will attach with the help of ATP and enzyme which is amino acyl transfer RNA synthetase. This is an amino acid having carboxyl group, alkyl, amino group and hydrogen group on it which attach at 3' prime end and now this whole molecule which is composed of transfer RNA and amino acid is known as amino acyl transfer RNA. This is known as amino acid activation. The second step of translation is formation of initiation complex. This is smaller subunit of ribosome. This is messenger RNA. 5' prime end of messenger RNA will bind to the smaller subunit of ribosome. And then at the same time, larger subunit of ribosome will also place at the smaller subunit of ribosome. This ribosomal subunit have three binding sites for the attachment of transfer RNA. A site is the first binding site, which is known as amino acyl site. Here the transfer RNA carrying new amino acid will bind. P site is the peptidal site. Here the peptide bonds forms between amino acids. And this is the site where the first transfer RNA carrying methionine will bind to the start codon of messenger RNA. And third last binding site is the E site which is exit site from where transfer RNAs will be removed by the ribosomes. This is known as initiation complex. Third step is elongation. In elongation, ribosomal subunits move along the messenger RNA and amino acids join to form polypeptide chain. At P site, peptidal site, transfer RNA carrying methionine is attached to the start codon of messenger RNA and when the codon is exposed at A site then that particular transfer RNA carrying new amino acid will bind at A site and another enzyme which is peptidyl transferase immersed at P site break the bond of amino acid at P site and form the bond of that amino acid with the newly incoming amino acid. 
So you can see this is how a polypeptide chain forms when amino acids join to each other. And here, the empty transfer RNA will move to the exit site, E site, and will be removed by the ribosome. Transfer RNA at A site now translocated to the P site. And when the codon is exposed at A site, then another transfer RNA carrying new amino acid will attach at A site. Again, peptidyl transferase immerse at P site break the bond of amino acids at P site and form the bond of those amino acid chain with the newly incoming amino acid at A site. This process is known as translocation. And this process is repeated again and again. And this is how a polypeptide chain forms. Last step is termination. In termination, ribosomal subunits move along the length of messenger RNA and then stop codon is exposed at A site. The stop codon do not code any amino acid. So it will not bind to any transfer RNA carrying amino acid. Instead of it, it will bind to release factor. This release factor release the ribosomes and polypeptide chain. Here you can see transfer RNA will be removed by the ribosome. Polypeptide chain is now separated from transfer RNA and the ribosomal subunits messenger RNA and transfer RNA, they all are now separated because of release factor. This is known as termination. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe FMZ Biology to get more videos like this.